Radio 96.9 FM. Fresh news, smart talk, all day. The views and opinions of the hosts and guests are their own and do not necessarily reflect the position of the management and staff of Guardian Networks. The aftermath of every social revolution brings about change. Cultural norms and landmarks shift as our minds and hearts expand beyond the familiar. To everything, there is a season and a time to every purpose in the land of the living. This is our time to renew, revive, and restore the hope lost to the busyness of life. This is our time to dig again and rebuild from the storms of our past on a solid footing that holds. Welcome to The Foundation. The Foundation. The Foundation of Hearts Grant is brought to you by Alive, Fall for Bones, Burger King, Commonwealth Bank, Epic Battery, The Free National Movement, Grand Bahama News, Nassau Cruise Port, Print Masters, Bronze Electric Motors, and Wendy's. Something that I want to say You know with the mix of pleasure and pain You got that good luck that drive me insane Now oh. when it's that good, we do it again You got me so hooked, I cannot explain Now baby, I won't ever complain You got that good luck that drive me insane Because right. under the sheet she's crazy uh. But in the street she's a lady so, uh. I give her a ring on the first day uh. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, 96.9 FM Radio, Howard Grant in your company. This is, uh, you know, it's a panel discussion Wednesday. Uh, got a little shaggy in there. Uh, the chameleon about being able to show you one face in, the, in a formal capacity, but then in a second way. Uh, you are the beast that you have enveloped. Let's just be decent as possible. We're diving into this thing. Grateful to be in your company today. It's a day. Wednesday, August 14, 2024. Diving into the conversation. Shirt. I got to shout out my good, decent people over at AFS Insurance Agents and Brokers. They got everything laid out for you. If you are in the market for insurance, whether that be your personal insurance, your home insurance, uh, or commercial insurance, your business insurance, please, please, por favor, give them a call at 341-1AFS. 341-1AFS. They're located at number 407 Blue Hill Road South. They can take very good care of you in those particular instances if you are looking for insurance. And they get in-house financing for all those persons trying to be able to get their things together as it relates to their uh, SDs, their taxis, their liveries, their, their jet skis, their this, their that, all those particular things. They do that in-house financing. So please check them out, reach out to them. They can assist you in this particular matter. And you ain't got to break the bank. And you ain't got to break the law. Let's be as decent as possible. Check them out, guys. There, like I said, at 341-1AFS, 341-1AFS, number 407, Blue Hill Road South. Got to shout out all my good, decent people. Got to shout out Ancient Chinese Sync. Secrets, ancient Chinese secrets. I want to be able to thank Miss Yang. Miss Yang has made a commitment that she wants to support us uh, next week more specifically, and we're going to be able to extend something beautiful to her and see if we can be able to make that relationship last going forward. Because you know we hear from her sporadically, right? Uh, you remember her when she comes on the show and gives us an hour or gives us a remote to talk about these things, but she has a great deal of healing products that work for you on a day-to-day basis. Can I give you a little insight? Just a little piece of insight. I uh, went down to Miss Yang. I got myself the ginseng. I got the uh, the beet reishi, um, uh, lion's mane. I took that and a spirulina, right? So every morning I make a little shake with this thing, right? And guess what? Guess what? I can give you a little bit of my information anyhow. From, I was on a fast. It's a significant fast. I wasn't eaten, right? I can say this now because it's over. But I wasn't eaten, right? So I probably probably eat one meal a day, like a little soup or something like that, right? And I took these products, right? And I feel so good you would not believe. I feel like I give my body sort of a restart, a jump start. How do I know this? Small tasks that I've been doing. And she said to us, 
from July 15th to August 15th is the best time for us to start any diet, any exercise. This is an amplified time for you to be able to lose weight if you're looking to be able to lose weight. But I had already started my thing, right? So I just said, let me go down there and check her out. She gave me all these particular products. She asked me if you want this. I deduce, I don't think I want this. I don't think I want that, right? And I took this thing and I'm starting to sweat. Now, I don't know if you got older, right? And um, you've lost that sort of metabolism, that the rhythm of what you've ingested for such a long time stuck in your system and your system only responds to what exists in it rather than what you're feeding it. Right? So now you got to be able to take a reset. You got to take a reset. You got to go on a fast for a couple of days. You got to let your body heal itself. Don't worry, you ain't going to die if you don't eat for a couple of days. Just be decent. Your body got enough fat to be able to deal with that for six. So uh, I went on this fast and I restarted, jump start my body. Boom. And I watched my metabolism kick in significantly. I might as well tell you the truth. Watching my metab, I am sweating. I put the dogs up cleaning the cage, doing this, cleaning my backyard, uh, raking, whatever I'm doing, little small tasks that I've always done. And I wasn't sweating before. Now I'm drenched. And it's a good sign. It's a good sign. It doesn't, I don't think it has anything to do with humidity. I don't think it has anything to do with the external sta uh, um, uh, factor. I think it has everything to do with that reset. It's time for us to be able to be conscious about these things, guys, because, you know, we got to be able to be prepared for whatever's coming down the line. So get yourself prepared. Go down there. Check out Ancient Chinese Secret across the street from Thompson Wholesale right there uh, on Shirley Street right there. Ancient Chinese Secret. Actually, Miss Yang, she's going to take very, very good care of you. You can get anything. You can get the foot detox. You can get um, uh, your cordyceps pills. You can get uh, the reishi. You can get the aloe. I'm, I got to tell you about the aloe. I took three of the pills. And you don't even taste the thing. I took three of the aloe pills, right? I took three of the aloe pills. I just try to be decent. I took three of the, woo, listen to me. And this ain't no pain. I don't know if you ever take and all those things, but you have that kind of a, that, that wrenching pain in your side that women would normally identify that as sort of a menstrual pain. Uh, you have that when you're dehydrated and you take these particular things and because of that sort of a pain and, and uh, like Ms. Yang says, because of the inferior products, that's the issues that you have. Man, I took three of these aloe pills and my God, you should see my wife. She takes some of the pills every morning. She's looking in the mirror talking about, I lose some weight. Eh? I, don't, I know I feel better. My clothes are fitting. And baby doll, you are 12 pounds. You need to stop. Okay? You need to stop. From it. No, 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 no. I feel better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm not going to fight her. But it is an amazing product. Go down there. If you have an issue with constipation, if you have an issue with irregularity, if you have an issue with these particular things, go down there to Ms. Yang and pick up those products. Now, Ms. Yang set this up for next week, but I thought I would be able to speak about her this week because she made a commitment today. Now, guys, if there's still time. There's still time. If you want to be able to talk about your business, if you want to be able to talk about what you're doing and you want to be able to bring that up during the time that we're in there, I'd love you to give me a call. 827-0111. We get some great packages. It starts up very small and I believe that it's reachable. Then we have medium sized packages, which is a diversity package, and we get the big, big boy package. So uh, let me know what you want. We could be able to do that for one week or we could make modifications to do it for you for a longer time. It's up to you. Guys, it's a beautiful day. Grateful to be in your company. Make sure you pick up the Guardian newspaper. The government may take Grand Bahama Power Company rate issue to court. Mitchell says that uh, uh, no relenting on the sovereignty matters. We talked about this. We talked about this in uh, being able to take to task the Grand Bahama Port Authority, the Grand Bahama Power Company, and the entity that exists in Grand Bahama, and more specifically being able to highlight this concept and idea and almost quash the concept and idea of there being a quasi-government that a lot of us and even governments have uh, sort of pronounced formally of what the expectation should be for Grand Bahama to run, almost like a metropolis unto itself, right? Um, I'm sorry, the city of Freeport to run as a metropolis unto itself, that uh, very rarely we get involved in their dealings. But now we're seeing the New Day administration take on a very strong tone to indicate that this quasi-concept needs to be quashed entirely. Let's do away with this concept. There's not two governments in the country. 
Let's just be very clear. I won't know whether or not they said this to North Africa. I just want to be as decent as possible. Because if there's a prime minister, there must be a cabinet. I just want to be decent as I talk about these things. I want you guys to be able to enjoy to, to join me in conversation today. Prime Minister on bed rest weeks after surgery. Well, I know Kai Mills didn't let him get no rest. My God, he's going to the Abaco. Uh, he show us everything. He will come against the police. Oh, Kai, you need to stop it, Kai. We're not going to fight you, right? But, you know, I love it. I came here for the entire thing. <laughs> I'm watching it. I'm watching it as the police officers bite the side of their mouth and they won't take him out, right? They won't deal with him, right? But I'm watching it and Kai continues to be able to give us great, great insight and information all the way from North Abaco in his particular capacity. But the prime minister is on bed rest weeks after his surgery. I'm hoping that he takes his rest. I, I'm hoping that he takes uh, his significant rest and being able to go down there. Uh, uh, somebody let him know. Uh, um, Honorable Vaughn Miller could tell him how to be able to get in contact with Miss Yang. Yeah, take some natural products, clean yourself out, energize yourself, take some ginseng. Uh, just don't call Ian. Amen? Don't call Ian because we may see him on bed rest even longer. Let's be just as decent as possible as we do. I just I make a joke. Y'all behave yourself, okay? So we talk about these particular things and we're hoping that the Prime Minister uh, is energized and prepared to be able to see this two-year sprint because that's what's going to happen here. It's going to be a two-year sprint. This ain't no joke. From here all the way out, um, uh, the prime minister needs to be in top shape because we're going to election. The country needs to be prepared. The mindset needs to shift. There needs to be uh, sort of a preparation for the steps to move in this particular stead. Let's talk like this. Let's be very clear about what's happening out here. And so we're hoping that the prime minister is prepared to be able to make those things happen. Officer gets bail for murder conspiracy charge. Um, I, can I play that video? I can play all. Uh, I think eyewitness did that. I can play that for y'all when we get back here. It is bananas. I watched it. I watched the entire thing. If, I don't know who put that together, but it is bananas. Almost jaw-dropping of the proximity, the affiliation, the access, the acquisition, and then the allegations. Oh, my God. G-A-W-D. Oh, my God. It is amazing how they put that thing together. I watched that. Make sure you be able to check that out. I'm going to play it when we get back from the break, right? And then also, uh, Honorable... Um, Glennis Hannah Martin defends the school repair program. Minister of Education Glennis Hannah Martin defended the program yesterday against claims contractors in performing shoddy work. It says Hannah Martin told the reporters that contractors engaged in the Ministry of Education are skilled laborers who are working around the clock to tight deadlines. This is what she indicates. And then she gave an update. To the, to the two issues, uh, she gave an update to the two weeks after Bahamas Unions of Teacher President Belinda Wilson accused of successive administrations of rushing the school repairs. Wilson also said that the government officials have a history of giving attractors a political cronies who, in many instances, do not perform the repairs properly. Hannah Martin took issue with Wilson's assessment. We have school repairs underway nationwide. This is what she said. She says, in New Providence, where most of the schools are, we are a very, we have a very aggressive school repair program. And let me just say, I've heard some public commentary about school repairs. In many instances, it's not just repairs. We are redeveloping our school plant. Okay, I need more information on that, the redevelopment of the school plant. Okay, she referenced major work from the government high school and T.A. Thompson Junior High School in New Providence as an example of the campus redevelopment. She added, so what we are doing is not simple school repairs. In every instance, it's not simple simply changing a doorknob. It's some in some places, we're doing a sort of a moderate repairs, but in, in many instances, it is redevelopment. Now, I come down on Camp Road every day, right? I uh, hit Pargate, hit Camp Road, take that turn right there, 
pass SH, SHSS, and then I go all the way down, right? And I, that's how I do my thing, right? And I've seen them, that school right there. Oh, God, what's the school called? What's that school called? Uh, right there on, on Camp Road, right? Um, I've seen them being able to remodel that entirely. So they shifted the entire front of it. They dug it up. They take the trees out. They did all these things. Now, I don't know if that's what the, the redevelopment of the plant concept is. But I've seen that you've created a space so persons can be able to park at the forefront of the thing. You've recreated the wall, but I don't know. I haven't seen anything done with the school itself. You're working fast on the wall of the exterior, which is a peculiar thing to me because you had the whole of summer to do this from June. But you started now. I'm not going to fight you. As we look at these particular things, it begs the question. And I don't know whether or not Hannah Martin, I'm not Hannah Martin, uh, Belinda Wilson is absolutely incorrect. Historically, governments have been lackadaisical in their approach of being able to rectify these things. Your budget already passed. You know that you ain't got to go back to school. You know that these things are done. You were proactive as possible, rather, um, um, for the government in being able to stop, review, and cancel uh, the fact that children aren't able to access the scholarship opportunities, the toddlers. The toddlers. You stop that. So you knew that you had to do this for money going out, but in terms of children coming in and ensuring that an environment is prepared, historically, and this has got nothing to do with the current Minister of Education, historically, this is what you fought against. Even when Jeffrey Lloyd was in there, this is what you fought against. When Jerome Fitzgerald was there, this is what you fought against. This is what happens. So don't fight me. This is what is happening. Now, we appreciate the fact that uh, the governments have recognized the importance of being able to put uh, significant pressure to get these things done. We appreciate the fact that the minister can be able to, to speak with uh, uh, a level of assurity to know that we've hired professionals and these works will get done properly. But the fact of the matter is that we're not talking more specifically about today. We're talking historically. But if we're going to change this course of how things happen in this country, maybe a New Day administration may be the one to do things entirely different. But that's not necessary. Guys, i got to take this commercial break. It's going to be the first commercial break. The number's available, 323-623-225-4316-325-4259. Anywhere for the family of islands, 242-300-5720, or hit me up, 422-4796. Quick break. Be right back after this. The Foundation. 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 The Grand Bahama News is available every Tuesday in the Nassau Guardian. You can buy your local paper at Freeport Convenience Stores, Western Bakery, De Gregory's Fine Foods, and Bellevue Gifts. Now is the time to reach your Grand Bahama market with affordable packages, including print and digital. Call GB News Sales Representative Kavandre at 822-6717 or message him on WhatsApp for ad rates. Classified ads are now available every Tuesday as well. Keep up with everything Grand Bahamian every Tuesday in the Nassau Guardian. Now let me see now. 326 EPIC. Hello? Hello? This this epic e e kit battery? This Miss Bueller from around the corner. I hear you are selling tires now on Wolf Road 2. Praise the Lord. It's about time. I live Fox Hill and Fire Trail. It's too far. That ain't all. They open Monday to Friday, 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. On Sunday and holiday, 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. My brother Sam, he's a hacker and he could go right there and get fixed up. Call us at 326 Epic. We ship also to the family island. Great news. Ron's Electric Motors' new location on Cowpen Road, right next to Island Luck, is open Saturdays and Sundays. So for those needing repairs on electric motors, generators, welding machines, water pumps, battery charges, electric lifts, transformers, and power tools, Ron's Cowpen Road location can have you up and running on weekends. Don't forget, you can still visit Ron's Electric Motors on Wolf Road and Claridge Road, and now Ron's new location, L356-0249 or 323 5267. Summer may be ending, but the party is just getting 
getting started at Nassau Cruise Port. Don't miss our Summerfest All-Star Bahamian Concert on Saturday, August 17th at the Nassau Cruise Port Amphitheater. Enjoy electrifying performances by Abby, Sweet Emily, Elon Moxie, The Mighty Pencil, Chad Colley and the VIPs, Bloody and more. Best of all, it's free. Gates open at 4 p.m. Show starts at 6 p.m. Grab your crew, bring your vibes, and let's end this summer in true, true Bahamian style. The foundation. 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 Foundation. And we are back, ladies and gentlemen. And you know, Howard Grant in your company, The Foundation, here live and in full effect, just talking about what's happening from a local standpoint. Um, um, uh, I just I want to play something for you, but let me get some approval before I actually play this. I don't want no fighting and on things like that. Let me see. Okay, so no, we're not going to be able to play that, okay? But uh, you know what it is. It's something that uh, I think Jose Etienne put together. Over at the uh, at Eyewitness, you can be able to look at that and you can be able to do that. I'm not going to fight you, right? However, let me just be able to give you sort of a, a scenario of how the thing's set up, right? It's set up in a particular manner, right? They did the story, but they did historic value, right? And it started off with the accused being able to take on a position when she says, when I was growing up, my mother got a house at a very young age and I said that I'm going to beat her. And uh, she was able to acquire a house at 18 years old. And there was a ribbon cutting in the whole thing. And then, boom, the, the, the scene switch where there was accusation, uh, accu- um, there was an accused uh, and persons uh, levying these, 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 what am I trying to say? Listen, I'm just blown away by this sort of a concept and idea that exists like this. And why I said to you that this was of mammoth proportion is because they pitched the two stories together. And based upon being able to pitch the story together, now it leads to social speculation. Whether or not being able to acquire a home at 18 years old and the entire country celebrated. Now, at the, at the backside, the latter part of this story, as we look at this, we're asking ourselves, did you acquire this house by, by legal means? This is, the, this is just the interpretation that we're having as we look at this thing. And we're looking at this and making a determination as to exactly what happened. Everything that you've done now comes into question. This is bananas. Someone called me this morning and says, Howard, listen, I don't know whether or not you have uh, one of those on Amazon.com, but I might need one. And I said, what the hell are you calling me? I don't know what you're talking about. Our society is crazy. And I think this is where we cue uh, Ian's song, Nassau Ain't No Real Place. And I think the reality is, or the lack thereof, is that we're finding ourselves in this sort of a position where uh, the accused, those uh, socially convicted and other uh, being identified as perpetrators, seem to rise to the top. And the average Joe, the law-abiding citizen, they get, you know, the hammer laid down upon them. This is just social perception. It may not necessarily be so, uh, but if we're dealing with this sort of a sentimental environment that we're in, it definitely feels like that. And let's talk about it. The lines are wide open. Guys, I want you to be a part of the conversation today. 323-623-225-4316-325-4259. Anywhere from the Family of Islands, 242-300-5720. Hit me up, 422-4796. Call on the line with us live. Go ahead. Howard, what's going on? Hi, good man. What's happening? Yeah, everything good. You mean Raya Maxie? You in okay. Camp Road? That's on Camp Road. Yeah, they doing yeah, a lot it of work. Look, it looked like, look like they creating a drop off pick up lane. That's what it looked like on to the me. Camp Road side. Yeah, maybe that's for the bus to pull off there because you know the bus is yeah. stopped right there. Yeah, a, a, a entrance only and an exit only. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but then about was he seven or eight months ago when Ms. Yang was on your show, and then I go on by her like the next day or right after that. And I would I on the 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 aloe soft gel, the spirulina, and the cordyceps, 
every day for the last seven months. You ain't need no bedroom bully. Talk to me. Yeah, I can't deal with the aloe, boy. I couldn't deal with the aloe. If I get slated off the tree, like I'm putting it in show, it's coming back up. Mm -hmm. But them soft gel, they go down nice and smooth, like you say. And they do the job. You do a number one and a number two every morning. Yes. Every morning. They can do the job. Yeah. Now, the spurly, you know, you got to take 12 of them a day, Mm -hmm. four or four, three times a day. Mm -hmm. You get the pills, I get the powder. I put it in my little shake. Oh, you put in your little shake, yeah. but uh, which Miss Yang was there last Tuesday, right? Yeah, I think Tuesday. Yeah, last week Tuesday. Yeah, yes. last week Tuesday. I was trying to call in, and I hold for half an hour, and never get on till the show over. Mm-mm. But the, the Monday just, the Monday just before that, I was ordered a aloe soft gels, and I go in and I get some. But I noticed they have a new quarter set. Like you know, we say forty three for that one. They have one there for forty nine, mm-hmm. and I just call in the ox, Miss Yang. What is the difference between the one we be on now and that one? But I hold for half an hour till the show over, and never got on. I see what you did there. I'm not gonna fight you. Call her. So, so when you when you when you see her, I try to know the difference between those two quarter sets. Call her. Why don't you call her down there? I uh, ain't your Chinese secret. She got she got on the phone right now. Hey, okay. Uh, let me tell you. Let me leave the show. Could you out before I go? Ah. Uh, you know, I never didn't meet her because when I go in the shop, she was, I talked on the phone. Mm-hmm. And uh, she's a nice lady because she's called you back to and asked you how the product doing and the yes, many side yes, of it yes. and everything, right? So we talk on the phone for like two months before I need, meet her. So I go in there on Saturday to refill up everything, right? And then the, the girl who was in the shop says, she in the back. Now on Warren McCartney, you and Dwight, I say, Miss Yang is this short uh, Asian woman. This is a short Asian woman. So... When I go on the show, she's in the bottom, but regatta. Because he see me out on the exam, regatta shape. So when she come from the, out the back, Miss Yang is this tall, fine Asian woman, woman, man. Tall, fine. That's the product. But, she need to stop. <laughs> yeah. She got to be kind of finest, man. That's the fine. You'll never talk to her that by her voice, girl. I didn't say this is a short little Chinese woman, because all the Chinese women are short. But she's tall and fine, man. Nice-looking lady. Look here, call Miss uh, Yang. 557-1369. Five, five, yeah. I have to number, I have to number my phone. She's called me, man. I, I, I call her right now and find out what's the difference between them new quarterceps, man. Yeah. So in my note, I could get on them. Yeah. Well, yeah. she should be on with us next week. I appreciate your telephone call, my brother. Thank you so much for your call. She should be on with us next week to be able to have a good conversation to find out exactly what's happening with uh, Ancient Chinese Secrets. So I'm looking forward to that, looking forward to having those side of a conversation with her. I'm excited about that. Yeah, she got, they got some good stuff, man. I can tell you the truth. If you've never used these products, uh, I you know, I just want to shoot straight with you and be honest. Now, I can talk like this with Miss Yang in the front of us, but uh, I know that there are persons diving into these products and not knowing the spirit or the gods behind it, right? whether or not this is something that's Buddhist, whether, you know, or how it is, for those persons who are elevated beyond that, well, obviously I'm not talking to you, but there are some people who uh, associate everything outside of the tradition and the rhythm of your society as uh, ungodly, right? Which is a peculiar thing, but you got to study to show yourself approved. These are great products. These are natural products. These are products that exist in nature. And when used correctly, uh, it is the healing of the body. These are very good products. And I want to be able to say that to you. So go down there and check out Miss, Miss Yang. And she can take care of you. 557-1369. Uh, 557-1369. She can be able to assist you. Let me take a next telephone call. Call on the line. Go ahead. Call on the line with us live. Go ahead. 323-6232-325-4316-325-4316. Anywhere for the family vibe. 5720, hit me up, 4224796. Four, Some people forget that they're on the radio, right? <laughs> I'm not going to fight you, right? So it says, uh, what's the story behind the prison officer? I'm going to go listen to the, to the uh, interview, all the information. It says, good day, keep doing the fasting every other week. It does wonders for the immune system. Make sure you drink plenty of water. And that's one of the things that we do. Can I say this? I, I'm glad that we're having this kind of a conversation today. I have uh, done significant researching. You know, sometimes you drink so much water and you still don't feel, um, you still don't, it doesn't quench your thirst. You drink so much water and it still doesn't quench your thirst. 
Like you're drinking water, you go there, you get the alkaline water, you get the water with the red cap, you get the water with the blue cap, you get the water with the green cap. You're still trying to be able to hydrate your cells. And the water can't permeate. It, it's not getting into your cells. Because of, the, because of a deficiency. Magnesium and zinc, a deficiency in your system. We eat bananas, we get potassium, but we have a deficiency in our system. Sometimes you look at your foot, your ankle may be swollen because it's not, it's not being able to get into your blood. Now, you know, I, I've become the TikTok professional, all right? And so I've been looking on TikTok for these, you know, I found some guys who's been talking about healing and eating all the green fruits and taking the ions out of your blood and being able to take out the, the microorganisms in your blood and all the metal in your system by being able to drink your, your uh, celery, uh, green apples, ginger, uh, all greens, right? And being able to blend those together and drink it, drink it, drink it, detox your liver, it detoxes your blood, it detoxes uh, your kidneys and the whole thing. So I've been reading that. And I came across this guy about from a biblical standpoint. He started to talk about how you have to, uh, that every offering that you give to God, you salt every offering, right? And so you can read that from a biblical standpoint. He starts to talk to you about salting every offering. And so when he, he says, for him to be able to hydrate his body, this is what he does. And I and I did it, and I my wife, everything I do, she won't do, right? She needs to stop. So I went and I bought uh, right there on East Street, just after you pass, Melissa says, right there on East Street, uh, to the right-hand side of where that red and blue, I don't know, the, the Beauty Shack store, they got these bunch of oils in this place, right? So you get your coconut oil, your castor oil, all these oils, right? Castor oil is excellent for being able to penetrate your uh, your belly. So, so sometimes you could be able to put the castor oil on your belly by itself, right? And it'll break down what exists beneath. So if you have an issue, you could put castor oil on it and it'll break down what exists beneath, right? This is from a natural standpoint. Yeah, I'm a professional. I've found this information out on TikTok. So don't fight me. I am TikTok certified to tell you this. And I read up on the information to find out more about it. I went and I got my castor oil bought coconut oil. So they got all the oils there. I bought coconut oil, right? Uh, I bought a half point of coconut oil. It's affordable. It's good. Every morning you take a shot of uh, a pinch of coconut oil. You put a pinch of cayenne. You put a half or a whole, uh, the small key limes, and you put natural sea salt in it. You take three shots of that a day, right? Uh, okay. So for those who's listening, Okay, so it's coconut oil, it is key lime, it is cayenne pepper, it is natural salt. I'm not talking about your table salt, your iodized salt. I see some people using Celtic salt. I see some people don't use the Himalaya salt. I see some people using those natural salts, right? And so you take that and it energizes you every single day and it hydrates your cells. Can I say this? It hydrates your cells. So if you're looking for that and looking for these things, y'all don't mind me big now. I could run longer than most of y'all out here. It's just, I've been doing this. I just, it's a big fellow, right? But it hydrates your cells. And you want to be able to do that and find out more information about that. So I'm sure that Ms. Yang could be able to assist you more in that. Instead of you looking at uh, TikTok dance specials, of what ZNS is doing or Ministry of Works is doing or whoever else is doing, you could find out information that can be able to really assist you. So go and find out, uh, instead of necessarily entertaining yourself, educate yourself. Find out what is best for you and best for your blood type, best for your body, best for your ethnicity or whatever the case may be. And let's see if we can collectively uh, do better, eat better, move better in terms of making decisions of what we need to do. All right. So I just won't be able to say that like that. But yeah, I don't want to make the whole show about that. Well, unless that's what you want to talk about. I'm not going to fight you. Right. But I just wanted to let you know that I feel better. I, I haven't had a cup of coffee in a month and a half. I haven't had a cup of coffee. Every time you see me sitting here with you, I'm having a cup of maybe longer than that. No, no, no. Because I started to feel really bad. 
And every time I drank coffee, I felt an elevated, almost feel like my blood pressure went up, right? And I said, but this is not good. I never had this issue before. I know that I'm getting older. I cut the coffee out. I say, okay, I ain't drinking no coffee. But the fact that I've already put myself in this kind of a position of relentlessly caffeinating my body uh, to function, I needed that additional energy. So what did I do? I got natural products. And those natural products has been doing wonders. I must tell you the truth. So go and check that out. Check out Ms. Yang and be able to find out more information about that. If you got some insight, if you got some secrets, if you got some of these particular things, you can do that. Please do not call here and say, Howard, what about the brownies? They help. But listen, I ain't taking no brownies. I can't function. You need to stop. Let's be decent as possible as we talk about these things, right? Uh, and dive into it. Guys, please be a part of the conversation today. 323-6232, 325-4316. 325-4259, hit me up, 422-4796, or you can be able to hit me up on um, the 827-0111. You can just text that uh, and be able to do that. Oh, so somebody texted me, so you're going to need the recipe. I got a call from a friend the other day, and I said, I haven't heard from you in a little while, right? Um, so I said to her, all right, she texted me, I said, because I was looking for something for the show. Right, because you know they she normally supports the show and supports what she does. But I said I haven't heard from you in a little while. What you guys doing? How things are? She said, How would I been out six? I said, You been hearing from you? She said, I was sick. I said, What happened? So she says, uh, I don't know what happened. My belly hurting. I can't keep nothing down. I could feel like it's a sour stomach. I feel like all these particular things. So I said, Okay, so don't eat for three days. That's the first thing I did. I said, Don't eat no food for three days. None. Don't eat no food for three days. Don't eat nothing for 96 hours. Right? Don't eat nothing. I mean, 72 hours. You don't eat nothing. Nothing. All right? So she said, well, what do you mean? I said, what you need to do is reset your body. Let's reset, reset your stomach. All your acid reflux and all the inflammation and all the issues that you have, just reset it. Give your body an opportunity to identify, isolate the issue, and deal with it accordingly. Once you're settled in it, then you start to cleanse. Do that. I mean, I think a lot of us have been having this issue, but we keep putting food on top of it. Uh, come on, man. Look at Howard. Howard trying to be the health profession. No, no, no. I just try to let you know. I am very sensitive on how I feel in my body. I'm very sensitive. Oh, hold on. I don't feel... Uh, we know our bodies... Well, and I don't feel right. But you can not feel, you feel horrible. You know, there's one time I enjoyed, uh, and I think I did, it, I, I did it too much, right? I wanted to be able to enjoy uh, a certain beverage when I was in Grand Bahama. This was years and years ago uh, when the product first came out. Sans Bear, and uh, this is not product placement for you, Sans Bear, stop it, right? But Sans Bear came out with... Uh, those refreshing drinks, right? With the, uh, what's it called again? Right? It's like, uh, Kalik came up with one after, but Sans Bear had this sort of a movement and they had the guava, they had the the passion fruit or whatever they had. And these things were great. Man, listen to me. It ain't, you ain't feel drunk, you ain't feel nothing. It's just a refreshing drink. You enjoy that with a nice cool thing. You're part of the social uh, clique. You don't got to drink that nasty tasting bear because you like sugar. You had this man. I was drinking these things. And the yeast threw my belly off entirely. This was years ago. Entirely. And I had to stop consuming them. I had to stop consuming them. And then I went to the, the Guinness thing, right? What's, what's the Guinness? The Guinness uh, smooth, the smooth one. I had those. The yeast threw my belly off entirely. I stopped drinking entirely. Yeah, because this ain't for me. Sometimes we got to know this. We have to know within ourselves that, listen, drinking ain't for me, eh? Wine ain't for me. Rummy in for me. And sometimes you got to go through that crash course because you know that you don't want to be drunk, but you want to be able to indulge, especially if you socially and you go out and you want to be able to have a drink. This is not for me. So I don't even bother with this anymore. It throws your stomach off. You cannot put yourself in the position where you are 
uh, you don't feel well, you could feel uh, your eyes getting blurry, you can't see, you're losing hair, all these particular, and you're eating the same thing every day. That's bananas to me. You're losing hair, your belly getting strong, your back wide, and you eating the exact same, you could feel that you don't feel good. All the back of your neck black, and you could feel that's something wrong, but you keep doing the same thing every day. Just stop. Reset your body. And if your body said, okay, now let's eat some greens. Okay, now let's eat some fruit. Oh my God, I feel better. Oh, my stomach getting down. Oh, I stopped eating the bread. And you feel better? My God, you did the right thing. So I want to be able to encourage you guys to be able to do that and identify how you can do those things, right? Let me take this quick commercial break, guys. You can be able to participate when we get back after this. Tired of banks forcing you to use technology to bank the way they want you to? Your convenience is important. So no matter what your banking needs, Commonwealth Bank's friendly staff are always available in branch for that personal one-on-one -on -one service. But when you choose technology, our online and mobile banking app offers you state-of-the-art functionality. The choice is yours. Commonwealth Bank. Bank the way you want. Get ready to celebrate Independence the BK way with our new Independence King Combo. Choose from our classic flame grill beef version or indulge in a crispy chicken breast topped with savory bacon, arugula, crisp onion rings, cheese, and our special tropical sauce. Both come with fries and a drink for a flavor sensation perfect for celebrating every year. Remember to top off your Independence King Combo with a delicious guava sundae or the new guava ice shaker. Available only at Burger King Nassau. It's time to upgrade the way you enjoy at-home entertainment. Alive Fiber is here. Enjoy all your favorite channels and streaming apps, all at lightning-fast internet speeds with affordable bundles, and it's only a click away. Visit www.alivefiber.com to sign up now. Stay connected, live your life. It's good to be alive. Red is on the move. FM Fundraising Committee presents Red Splash Family Fun Day. It's all going down Saturday, August 17th at 11 a.m. until at Montego Beach. There'll be cash bar, corn fritters, grilled chicken, pork, steak, fried fish, and pancakes. Enjoy hoopla. There will also be a kitty section with snow cones, cotton candy, popcorn, hot dog, bouncing castle with music by DJ Tank. And there'll be a live band. So you don't want to miss Red Splash. The foundation. The foundation. The foundation. And we are back, ladies and gentlemen, 96.9 FM radio. Howard Grant and your company, The Foundation, live and in full effect here. Being able to chop it down, having a good conversation, we took it, we started to talk about national issues, and then we started to talk about health issues and personal issues. I wanted to introduce you to Miss Yang and what she does down there at uh, Ancient Chinese Secret and talk about the fact that it's a natural product. And then we started to have this kind of a conversation about how you can naturally move yourself in a particular direction. So uh, salt every offering. I'm looking for a few now so I can be able to tell you uh, where you can get it from. Now, you go on TikTok. Uh, this guy is jacobslink.com. jacobslink.com, right? Organic Salt Reverse. So you can find it. It talks about to uh, kidney, liver, gut salt. It talks about these particular things. So you can find out more information on that. This is jacobslink.com. I think that's Jacob, right? jacoblinks.com let me see if i can open this one up here his uh his his page is called at jacobs reger uh, at jacobs j a c o b s uh regeneration right so he has all the information on it you can go down there you can find it out find out more he talks to you about 
uh, liver disease. It, it talks to you about being able to do these things, how to heal your eye floaters, how to heal the mucus and remove mucus from your body. He talks about mold poisoning. It talks about fixing his eye, healing those lumps. This is on TikTok. All right. So it's Jacob's regeneration. Jacob's regeneration. You can find him out. He started to talk about that and he told me all about it. So for those texts that's texting me, Howard, uh, how much of this you use? How much of that you use? How much of this you use? You can find it out. And he has sort of a chart that he can show you, whether it's biblical or whether it's scientific, he shows you why you're using these particular things. He's a little bit of a free-spirited guy. You're out here bareback and looking like John the Baptist, right? Uh, the Caucasian John the Baptist. I'm not going to fight you. But you can check it out and find out more information about him. And sometimes we got to use discernment to understand whether or not this thing is for us. Can we say that? you got to use discernment. And you can't do that if your brain is clouded. You can't use discernment and connect yourself with being able to see beyond uh, face value into an aura, into the spirit of an individual of a concept if you are convoluted in your mind, right? If you have ingested things and your brain is foggy. you got to be able to get to a position where you could be able to detox all of this. You got to do a holistic detox. Mind, body, and spirit. Some of y'all are here making terrible decisions on uh, relationships and dating this and that and all these things and just looking at the surface simply because you are not connected with supremacy. And so because you because of that, you could never be connected uh, as it relates to purpose. You got to be able to do this. This is almost like if you've ever watched one of my favorite movies in the world. One of my favorite movies in the world with Bradley Cooper, Limitless. One of my favorite movies in the world. I just saw it pop up on Netflix. I feel like I can watch it again. This is one of my favorite movies in the world. I've enjoyed this movie. And because it shows you about a path of a man, more specifically, and how we look for answers. We've ingested information for such a long time. We just aren't able to access the information. We can't remember these particular things. So now we go through life trying to be able to remember experiences, opportunities, ideas, so forth and so on. What we've read, what we've ingested, we can't regurgitate because we can't remember. And then there comes a point of clarity after you take this pill. That pill exists. It doesn't exist in the poor in the form of Big Pharma providing it to you. It exists with being able to ingest proper foods. Some of the foods that we eat, the hog that you eat, that you enjoy so much, the beef that you eat, you enjoy the fish, mercury, worms, bacteria, this, that, all these things are in our foods. And so our life performance, uh, it falls short. So we got to find ways that we can be able to clear up our minds, clear up our spirits and have a very clear understanding of where we're moving. If you watch Limitless with Bradley Cooper, you got to watch the movie. If you haven't watched it, go watch it tonight. If you've never watched it, right, there comes a point after he takes this pill that it's almost like clairvoyance. He becomes in tune with himself and he realizes that there is a spiritual element. Now, the movie ain't can pronounce this to you, but if you're watching, this is what you're seeing. There's a spiritual element that aligns him, and he has an understanding of purpose. He starts cleaning his apartment, he cuts his hair, he starts working out, he strengthens himself, he does all of these things. And it says to me that one of the major things that is killing us in this life is food. That we've been conditioned to die a slow death, the death of 10,000 cuts, simply by what we've ingested on a day-to-day -day basis. And our forefathers were none the wiser because they're content with giving us the starch and the rejected meats. Now that we're educated, we got to put ourselves in a better position than this. Let's talk about this, guys. Let me get to news and be right back after this. This is Garcian Radio, 96.9 FM, Nassau, Bahamas. For fast, reliable, and impactful printing services, look
look no further. Let Printmasters bring your masterpiece to life. We stand by our quality products that is second to none. Our affordable pricing and friendly, efficient staff makes Printmasters the ultimate choice for all your printing needs. We can deliver any type of printing services, from banners to booklets to business cards. You name it, we can print it. Let Printmasters bring your masterpiece to life. Located in the Nassau Guardian Building, telephone 302-2361. Foundation. Foundation. The foundation. The foundation. And we are back, ladies and gentlemen, 96.9 FM Radio. Howard Grant and your company, The Foundation. Uh, we took a different course today. I like this. <laughs> I like this. I, I enjoy this, right? Uh, we'll be talking about some stuff that we just talking about, uh, kind of reset. I can tell you my business. I can tell you all my business because I feel good. And I think that this is where sort of uh, our testimony can be able to encourage other persons. I feel good. Uh, I might as well tell you the truth. I, I feel excellent. And, you know, our wives, uh, for wives that are married to husbands, I'm going to tell you some insight. Men don't want to talk about these things. We want to have conversations about the fact that we may be getting slimmer. We don't want to have conversations about whether or not our hair is receding, our hairline is receding. We don't have conversations about whether or not there's more grain. We don't want to have those conversations. We want to play oblivious to that. We want to play dead fool like we don't know. All right? But on the, on the flip side, <clears throat> sorry, on the flip side of that also, Men don't want to have conversations, and maybe this is a little bit of superstition. We don't want to have conversations if we are moving that, if we're losing weight, if it seems like our hair is becoming fuller, if we are looking more youthful. We don't want to have conversations because we feel like you're jinxing it. You need to stop, baby. Let's, let's talk about it. Just, when I feel better, then we can talk about it. But the strength of our testimony uh, is really the empowerment for others to take that journey and uh, take us take a step, right? Let's just let's just be very clear. Uh, I think the way that we eat leads to a lot of the depression that we have in our society, a lot of the anger and this indifference that exists, this kind of an impatience that exists in our society, that happens because of what we ingest. I'm telling you the truth. That happens because of what we ingest. We take it in garbage. We take it in absolute garbage, garbage. That's what we eat. eaten. And you're trying to differentiate between what's lesser of the two garbages that you're eating. You're eating garbage. These foods with pesticides, these foods with all of these steroids and so forth and so on. You ingest that. These things have been shipped here to this country. My God, and we full in our guts up with that every day and trying to figure out why we get amplified cancer why we get prostate cancer why we get all these particular issues it's because you're putting in what you put in your mouth this is what you put in your mouth i had a very interesting concept the other day right there on this little same tiktok y'all listen some gems on here you know some gems on the internet you know but if you keep looking for stupidity that's what you can find that's what in your heart that's what you want you want to be a fool if that's what you want to do? Hey, baby, go ahead. But there's some gems on here. There's some gems on here. And I started to listen to this. Uh, I think it was a podcast I was listening to. He started to talk about the number one killer, the number one thing that the enemy uses that goes undetected, that has gone undetected for such a long time, and how the enemy has been able to trick a great deal. And I say enemy for those persons who aren't Christian, for those persons who don't carry the faith, uh, the belief, the, for those persons who aren't necessarily believers, uh, we call the enemy of our faith the devil, the great deceiver, Satan, Satan, right? And... Um, I was listening to this podcast and they started to talk about the fact that the enemy of our faith has tricked us in a way that we don't even understand. That one of the elements that he used, and then I start to think about it before they start to talk about it, I say, what could he mean? What do you mean? What is the enemy? What's the greatest trick? Uh, the thickest wool is we've, that the examples exist, but we still haven't 
been able to get the epiphany that this is what it is. And so I'm listening to him and he started to talk about it. He says, and I'm saying to myself, oh, was it, was it the, the, the fact that God doesn't exist? And I'm, I'm, all of this, I'm just thinking to myself, so I'm watching this podcast. And he says, the one thing that the enemy has used historically, almost from the inception, not, ne- or not necessarily almost from the inception, from the absolute inception of the story of the Garden of Eden, In the Garden of Eden, the story of uh, Adam and Eve, the enemy has always tricked us with our food. I said, mother sick. He said, that is the biggest thing and none of us understand it. Through, we volunteer, we are a participant, not just the inevitability of death. I mean, we know that it's inevitable. But we are a participant in uh, shortening our lifespan by ingesting these things that are designed to destroy us. And just like for those persons who uh, sit in this kind of a position and say, well, you know, I don't know no sweet hearting. I ain't cutting up with nobody. I don't have sex outside my marriage and this and that. And I keep myself holy. And then you go eat this nine foot long hot dog. Talk to me, let's just be decent, right? And then you go eat these things, whatever this is. They don't, let's not identify and isolate hot dogs more specifically. But whatever it is, you are a participant in your, your demise, your short and sudden demise. You are a participant in food and no one is none the wiser. We don't say nothing about it. We leave it alone. No one teaching you about that. You are to the altar of sacrifice, you are the one with the knife. And you've eaten yourself to death. I I never thought about that. And then at every inflection, if you start to go through it, almost every inflection where there was deception, there was food. Oh, my God, with you today. With Jacob and Esau, there was food. With Abraham and being able to get the blessing. And when God showed up to the tent, there was food. There was a relentless transition, even with Joseph going into uh, captivity. When the wheat bowed down, there was always this indication of food. There was always food. There was always food. At the midst of the inception of the deception that we have and that we endure, there was food. And nobody shoved it down your throat. You had to eat that. The one time that we've identified from a biblical standpoint when this thing was in je- that it was presented to you and you had to make a determination as to whether or not you live Nebuchadnezzar. My God, y'all, this might be Bible study for some of you. But with King Nebuchadnezzar, with uh, Shadrach, Meshach, and Bendigo, right? And being able to go on the Daniel fast and being able to identify these things, there was always food. The determining factor, it was food. Food plays a significant portion of our life. When God, when Jesus in the Bible found himself on a 40-day fast and he said he hungered, the the, the enemy showed up and said, well, you know, uh, why don't you turn this bread, uh, turn this rock into bread, food. There was always the deception of the element of food. And in that principle right there with the 40 days in the wilderness, when when Jesus went 40 days in the wilderness, uh, the three elements of temptation, the three elements in principle that we are relentlessly presented with to be able to go contrary to the convictions and the position, the purpose that we've been called to. One, food. Two, the elevation and an opportunity to be able to acquire all these things. Power. Come on, let's just, let's just shoot straight. If he can't get you with the food, he can try to get you with the power. We have to have more conversations like this. And this is what we mean when we start to talk about sobriety. And that study to show yourself approved is not necessarily the study in, and we talked about this yesterday, not necessarily studying to be able to regurgitate. That's, that's the reading, writing, arithmetic that you have been taught that this is the way that you study, read and write and arithmetic. You are devoid. You are devoid of any critical thinking. You only think about nothing. 
You ain't using no discernment. You're just doing what people tell you to do. So even as you read your Bible, you hit off John 3, 16, Corinthians, uh, 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 1 Corinthians 4 and 12, uh, or Corinthians 4 and 12, or whatever the case may be, right? You start to read these things and identify these things and regurgitate these things, but you never have no impartation and no understanding because you never ingest the information. You never identify this word as food. All this was, was identify, photo, memory, regurgitate. You never let it penetrate. But this is what we got to do. We get to this point now. We have to be able to use our sense, our brains. When you study, understand what you study. You can't study by yourself. Ladies and gentlemen, identify this as a little Bible study. You don't study without the Holy Spirit. Oh my God, how are you talking about? You're bringing all these things. We'll cut off the radio quickly. Cut it off quick, 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 quick. Cut it off quick, quick. Turn the station. Turn it back on when Shabbat woke up. Because we can talk about this today. You can't read the Bible by your... The logos or the words in the Bible mean absolutely nothing without revelation. It means nothing without revelation. I have to be able to read my wife every day, not what she say, because what she say in many instances means nothing. It's just superficial. She just say it because I'm out working, but her attitude, her posture, her position, and so forth and so on, that's the rhema. Oh my God, she upset. Yeah, that's how we learn. This is how we learn. This is how we communicate. This is the word, it does the exact same thing. You've been reading and regurgitating and repeating, but you don't have no understanding. And the understanding is a revelation to say, mother's sick. It's been food the entire time. We got to fix this, guys. We got to be more sober and intentional in our position. We got to be able to get ourselves to a better position for growth and development and understanding that we have to forge this thing forward. The entire course of the conversation next week is about being able to understand that our sobriety, our sober posture, our inflection, our position of being able to understand our responsibility uh, has to do with the growth and development of the country. That if you sit down and wait for the FNM and the PLP to give you answers, about the course that we will chart, uh, uh, that we should chart, that we should be able to forge and move forward on, all of us can end up in a ditch. I can't even get away, amen, Jesus. If you wait for the FNM and the PLP to give you the answer, you are going to die. I can't even get away, amen. Y'all didn't hear that because you, you're rapping your red right now. Charlie, you know, I, it's good. you know he's going to Walmart and get those 12 pack of underwear. You buy all red. You see that? You all go on there. You only get a yellow. You buy all yellow. People don't even know if you change your underwear. All is the same color because you had to show a representation, even internally, that you got your colors on every day. All the fool bar. I'm not going to fight you. Nor am I going to get in your business. But I'm simply saying to you, if we are looking for a better country, we, it starts with us. It starts with sobriety. It starts with a very clear understanding. And if you want to get down to the metrics, if you want to get down to the atoms of this conversation, if it starts with me, Howard, where does it start with me? It starts with your food. Boom. It starts with your food. It sounds stupid. I just won't be decent. Y'all know how long I eat pork chop? Can I say this? I don't care, man. That's a big man. I've been big from my bone. My mommy tell me a story. I will tell you the story one of these days. And all I know is my size is my survival. I might have been dead if I was smaller than this. I didn't get knocked down. I was under the people. Car, the woman rolled over me. My leg was broken. If it wasn't for my size... I would have been dead. So don't fight my size. All us can be 12 and a half pounds like you. Amen. But I know a many a man that's 12 and a half pounds that have heart conditions. I can't even get away. Amen, Jesus. I know many a man, 12 and a half pounds. You look good from the external standpoint, but I don't understand why your skin's so black. You got kidney conditions. 
I know many men, liver conditions, prostate. This one got gout, high blood, There's issues with, but you are presenting yourself as healthy. But you're fighting me because you presume that I ain't healthy. Sir, you need to stop. I'm good. I'm out here producing children every day. I whisper to my wife right now, she wake up, morning sickness. Talk to me. I just, be <laughs> I just won't be decent with you as I say this. What we've been ingesting is as a result of the issues that we've been having in our lives. Now, a lot of people have been also eating stupid, and that is what plays out in their lives also. I'm not going to fight you. We can do our best to be able to present different food for you to ingest. 323-622-3235-4316-325-4259. Anywhere from the Family of Islands, 242-300-5720, or hit me up, 422-4796. Let me take this telephone call. Call on the line. Go ahead. Well, pleasant today. How are you doing? Hey, I'm good, man. What's yeah. Scenario. America built the biggest embassy, I believe, in the, in the Western Hemisphere, right in the middle of the Shirley Street. I think that's one of the biggest embassies in the Caribbean, eh? I don't think so. I think it's the fourth biggest, but I can, I can look right now. Go ahead. Well, let's put it like this. For what reason would America build an embassy that huge, which is almost bigger than our government house, our prime minister's house, and the house assembly put together right in the middle of the sh little old Shirley Street, right on that little corner right there, right down Bay Street in the capital of the island. Now, so is the capital. That in the capital, that ain't out, out South Beach or nowhere, that in the capital. Do you think that we got to control ourselves from what America tells us to do or not to do? Hello, you still there? Yeah, of course we have power to do it. Uh, power to do what? If they decide that they can put an embargo on the Bahamas, what will happen to us? No, absolutely nothing. And tomatoes and cabbage and, and hot dogs and weed. We will and survive. From Florida. We will survive. We will survive. We will survive. Now, you might die because you didn't have this mindset and determination. We don't want to go. We don't want to go on no farm now. I can live. If you don't want to go on no farm, you ain't going to be able to get him to go to no radio I, talk show no more. I come into your place and I can fight that cow in your yard. We can eat that. I can live. That, that's only one meal. You don't, we don't grow nothing in the Bahamas. Don't worry. I can take your cow and your bull. We, we, we don't grow nothing in the Bahamas. Let me tell you something. We, we, you say we need uh, the, 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 the changing of the Bahamas belongs to us. We belong. We've been changing every five years. We say we're going to do a change. I reject your answers. And well. every five years, no matter who we put back in there, it's time to get rougher. Old people say, what's up? Everything, I tell everybody, in 1977, a pack of Rothman cigarettes was 50 cents. Now it's $11 and some cents. And those years, it's $11 and some cents. The same pack of Rothmans and the same amount of cigarettes in it, it's gone from 50 cents to $11 and some cents. And the cost of living has gone up and up and up every, every month, every year, from I was voting. And every politician came to my yard from I was voting was telling me they was going down Bay Street to represent me and make things better for me. It has never happened. Sparky, I it just... It has never happened for none of us, Howard. But that ain't means again. And ready to come back again, whether they POP, FNMs, or what. They are ready. They don't say the campaign's getting ready to start. People are ready to start. And I'm high, shaking on your gate and thing and want to talk with you and everything. They're getting ready in advance to get back down Bay Street because they like wearing the suits. They like traveling. They like getting to all the parties. They like that lifestyle. And when you get into that politics and that lifestyle, Fred Mitchell, they will show you that they don't like to get out of it. They don't want to get out. They don't want to ever leave the House of Assembly. And they don't want to ever leave Government House. That's two places they want to go, the House of Assembly and Government House. The rest of us go to church and carry 10% of what you got to the pastor because he like that church. And them gospel halls and all them big, them, 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 them big uh, halls, what they call them, the halls and stuff. They love them lifestyles for the old oh, Miss Marty walking the road in a place trying to get the church in the rain, the pastor, pastor, and Alexis. With the first lady with the big hat, 
trying to outdo Miss Finland Hot. And the children in the back feet, they passing in an air conditioned Lexus. Uh, it's so it's, it's Sparky, me. Sparky. And I really do appreciate your telephone call, but I have to reject this, Sparky. I have to. I have to. Not in the bad way. I have to reject this. This ain't for me, Sparky. This ain't for me. That ain't for me. Okay? If that's for you, if that has become your reality, if uh, you make a determination as to our country and how things, uh, whether or not we're increasing in our position or we're decreasing by 47 years of smoking cigarettes, and you make a determination by uh, how much a cigarette pack was then in comparison to how much it is now, I, I reject this sort of an assessment for my society, and I could do that. I could do that. I hear a lot of people critiquing my position as a radio talk show host. They're critiquing what I should say and how, from a traditional standpoint, persons have not said this before. Well, my brother, my sister, go listen to them people. I'm not going to fight you. I'm not here to be able to acquiesce, genuflect to the whims and ideas of what existed prior. I'm here to have a real conversation what can exist in this country. Are you not tired of what exists? Are you not tired of being able to live this life of nothingness? I was riding around a certain street in this country. I just want to be decent, right? In this island. I was riding around. This place is dilapidated. I want to say this to you. And I can tell you like this. And I don't know these people, but I ride past the house. This place is literally falling down. It looks like the Abaco Pine, right? Uh, and it's the, the shack setup, right? So it's a shack setup, and it's the Abaco Pine. And uh, it's just like a clapboard house, right? Flat, no foundation, just sitting there on the road. It has been like this for years. And, se and since I come to Nassau for, for the past 12 years, I've watched this place uh, deteriorate every single year. I've watched it become worse and worse and worse every single so it only led me to believe that when i saw this that this is how it's always been and it's right on the side of the road main road and as i pass it one day i passed it and i saw uh like a wreath right and this kind of a spool and all kind of uh like a draping material falling from it just black and white as an indication that someone died. And, you know, just quietly, my wife and I, we driving. And uh, I had to fix my tire. My, something was wrong with my tire. So I saw that, and my heart sank in me. And I said, mother's sick. That's what I said. I said, you know what's crazy? Is that you were born into an impoverished environment, in impoverished, in, in poverty, your entire life. You were born into poverty. You exist in poverty. You die in poverty, and your children have the legacy and the inherited and the inherent, or the inherent a mindset of poverty. All you ever ingested was what you couldn't do, with the restrictions that existed for you. And I look at that and I say, Mother Sick, this is a hard way to live. That you knew from the get go that you wasn't never gonna be nothing. I told you the story of what the young lady girl told me. I told you she liked me. I said, baby doll, how you could like this little 16-year-old girl? But now, this was it had to have been about 13 years ago, 14 years ago, right? She was working at my cousin's restaurant. I would go by my cousin every day and just um, hang out with my cousin. I tell you all, I love my cousin, and me and him is hang out, right? And we just hang out and uh she was working in the restaurant. And as she see me, me and him interact and the way that we talk, I guess she, she felt, you know, that she could participate in one way or another. Ain't nobody shut her down, you know. We ain't like that. So she said to me, she said, Mr. Grant, I know you married and everything like this, right? She said, but um, I won't have two children for you. I ain't gonna say nothing. I said, but she said, wait, 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 wait. What, what the hell is this? I said, I said, listen, baby, I said, married man. I said, why would you say something like that? Right? And she said, Mr. Grant, I know I shouldn't say it, but I want to say this to you. Um, you know my mother. And I did know her mother. She said, my mother ain't never really, never do nothing significantly. I do know her mother. She said, you know my father. And I do know her father. She said, my father ain't never going to be nothing in life. 
She said, the environment I come from, ain't none of us can be nobody. She said, but if I have two children for you, 16 years old, she said, one of them have to be something in life. I said, well, mother's sick, which is one of my go-to words. Let's just be decent. This is the Bahamian in me. Okay, let's deal with it. I said, I can't believe you said this. So she said, why you say that? I said, you have the critical thinking and put yourself in legacy and uh, survival mode, and not just surviving, but being able to shift the narrative of your future by being able to assess through your private parts. You, you thinking that your only change that could come for you is through your situation. I said, but if you have the thought pattern to think of that, my God, you could think yourself out of this situation. This mean not talking. I said, how can you give up before you start? I said, you're 60 and you ain't even in the real world yet. How can you possibly give up before you start? What kind of, where you come from? If you could assess everything in your environment, why don't you try to be better? Just try. If it don't work, then you know what you get. But my God, suppose it work. This girl has gone to school. She's gone to college. She's gotten her degree. She is doing tremendous. She don't know I know this. But I see her on the little thing. I don't communicate with her. But I see her on LinkedIn. And she's doing well. I reject the idea that we only could be what we was. I reject the idea that the tradition that existed in this country will be perpetuated until we die. I reject the idea that it is what it is. We are here. And if it ain't all y'all, it can take some of us to make the change that we must. Quick break. The foundation. The Foundation with Howard Grant will be back right after this. Do you have uncontrollable debt? Are you ready to make that move to Fidelity for a stress-free future? These loans have a built-in savings plan that pays you unbeatable interest. Ask about our debt consolidation loans today. Call 356 7764. Fidelity, we're good for you. Start your day off with a mouth-watering deal. Available deal. only at Wendy's. Introducing our new weekday breakfast deal that gives you a choice between three delicious items for just $3. You heard right. Monday through Thursday mornings, you get a choice between our bakery bliss croissant, breakfast baconator, or a three-piece pancake meal. Each only $3. Stop by your nearest Wendy's today. Better mornings. Always start at Wendy's. Now let me see. 326 ETIC. Hello, hello. This this epic e epic battery. This Miss Bueller from around the corner. I hear you are selling tires now on Wolf Road too. Praise the Lord. It's about time. I live Fox Hill and Fire Trail. It's too far. That ain't all. They open Monday to Friday, 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. My brother Sam, he's a hacker and he could go right there and get fix up. Call us at 326 Epic. We ship also to the family island. This is Guardian Radio, 96.9 FM. Fresh news, smart talk, all day. And we are back, ladies and gentlemen, 96.9 FM Radio. Howard Grant and your company, The Foundation, here live in full effect, being able to chop the thing down today. I guess we're talking health. I talk. I guess we're talking about our position. I guess we're talking about clairvoyance, uh, clarity, realignment, reassessment, understanding our position. How do we make that first step into getting ourselves into a position? And um, um, unlike um, unlike being able to step into a sa the saving grace of God, uh, as we come as we are, you go to God as you are, and then you transform in your thinking. Uh, by being able to fellowship, by being able to study, by being able to ingest, by being able to forge a relationship uh, with the Holy Spirit and getting yourself in this proper position, this ain't the same thing. 
from a social standpoint and a very clear understanding for us to be able to get our minds together, for us to get our bodies together, we got to be able to start eating right. My God, we got to ingest the right things and preparations to get us to the purpose that we've been called to. It's hard. It's hard. It is hard. And I realize that somebody texts me, this is Howard, uh, you don't get that size by not by eating vegetables. It's peculiar that you would say something like that. And I think that we have been conditioned in such a manner in this society that we don't even understand the dynamics of what life is. I'm not going to fight you. I thought this was funny because I did laugh. You, see, you don't get that size by eating vegetables. But cows are not my size. But cows are humongous. Elephants are humongous. Giraffes, I mean, gorillas and so forth and so on. These these things that we identify for plant I mean, for, for protein and that we ingest for protein, they find their protein, their strength, their vigor, their vitality by being able to eat plants. But I do agree with you. I didn't get this size by eating plants. I, I didn't. I didn't. It was, it was more flour. That's the only one. I just, it was flour. It was bread. It was sugar. I'm telling you the truth. This is what it is. We can laugh at it and do whatever. I'm telling you the truth. I'm telling you the truth. Flour, my God, I pass a bakery right now. I know I gained two and a half pounds just by breathing in the air as I pass. What? The devil is a liar. I have to come against sugar and bread every day. You should see me sitting down praying over it. God, I come against this right now. Ah. <laughs> I'm telling you the truth. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not going to fight you, right? Three two three six two three two three two five four three one six. 325-4259, anywhere for the family of islands, 242-300-5720. Hit me up, 422-4796. Call on the line with his knife. Is that a caller? Yeah, yeah, bless it, Howard. Hey, what's up, my brother? What's happening with you? Yeah, but you know, during the conversation, of course, you're talking about health, and, you know, I, I, I know you, you remind me. Like you said, we don't remember everything. And so, you know, I was listening to Lang the other day. You know, and Lang, Lang, Lang was having a conversation along these same lines. You know, like, we, we are, our consciousness and our thoughts now, our actions are based on what's in our head. So, you know, I have a prescription healing, nutritional prescription healing book about 30-something years, okay? So there's a book that you should get. Uh, it names, uh, it named, the name of it is uh, The Animal Connection. What a name? So it, the Animal Connection. Is oh, The by Animal Michael Connection. And her husband is a, a trash. Their, their son is a trash, T-H-R-A-S-H. I got one of them on Goodman's Pay years ago. Somebody here knows them, but I think they might have passed. It, it, and, and in this book, in the bibliography, it actually, they were warning us about Dairy products from as early as 1899 and milk and uh, drug cows and antibiotics in, into, the, into, the, into the food system, right? Like how we, like the meat inspections and diseases found and meat, meat inspections, these are the type of things that are hidden from us. But I like how you highlighted the fact about mercury and other toxins in the fish also. Microplastics are being found in the fish also. Mm -hmm. and microplastics are also in some of these salts that you're talking about. But one of the healthiest salts mm -hmm. on earth is something called bamboo salt. That is non-toxic and is and is highly alkaline, but as it relates to alkalinity, right? To use my brethren, I can share this with you. You don't need to buy alkaline water. You could just simply squeeze lemon in the water, mm -hmm. and you know my people tell me it's acidic. But even when you drink it, it has an alkalizing effect because if you know chemistry, you could you know the hydroxide is in the water, mm -hmm. and you know the formula for acetic acid, which will be uh, carbon, oxygen, and hydrogen. So it will automatically turn into alkaline. And also, Howard. There is a disease called alkalosis. See, most people, this is why I call. There's acidosis, like too much acid, and there's alkalosis. And there's also, you know, some people say that you drink too much water sometimes also. So this is years and decades of reading and just remembering. This has nothing to do with me. I'm just sharing this. So you would have known about Barbara O'Neill, okay, Howard? Mm -hmm. uh, Barbara O'Neill, I don't know if you've heard of her. She's a very famous uh, PhD nutritionist. We have some here too, like Dr. Higgs and uh, uh, Dr. I mean, Ms. Hannah, they're moving the health shop. They, they can enlighten you a lot too, but... We, we, the salt that we're actually eating, I'm, I'm, besides the Himalayan salt, which, which basically, Himalayan salt should be maybe, maybe about 89% or 80% sodium chloride. So it's still basically mostly sodium chloride, but it has 84 or 80, 80 minerals, and so they balance. And so the same thing with the Persian blue. But the, uh, the Celtic salt is actually better because, but, you know, there's an opinion, but it's, it's more uh, natural. It has a more natural ratio found in the human blood. As far as the potassium, selenium, iron, zinc, manganese, manganese, and chromium. So it, it, it's more like a balance. But then the thing is, in the molecular events, they're not, that's why I like for Dr. Archer 
and doctors to be on the show when they say things like this so they can agree. Because what, what, what happens now is you, you're not going to get uh, these things that we call sodium, potassium, magnesium. They are metals. But because they are highly active, they form compounds that make salt. So the, the, it's not the fact that they are, I think you used the word, uh, I can't remember the word you used, but it, it's, it's not the fact that they're deficient. It's the fact that they can be imbalanced. So when they are imbalanced, they will displace one another according to electropositivity or negativity. A fresh chemistry student should be able to orientate me which one is more electropositive than the next. Sodium would probably be the most electropositive than the next because it is highly, it has one electron in the outer ring. It's highly active, right? So these, these, are, these, these are not salts. They're, they're metals by themselves. And so what happens is when you, when you lack sun, sunlight or vitamin D, you have a problem getting calcium into the cell. That, that you made me, you reminded me of this because what you said. Because now the rate of sodium in the cell and, and calcium and, and potassium, the rate at which the amount of them in the cell determines how much liquid gets into the cell and how much liquid comes out of the cell. Right. You call it intra or extracellular fluid. These movements are important. So you, the, once you put these things in balance, the body will balance itself as far as pH and getting rid of water. So sodium, an overabundance of sodium in the cell will cause retention. So simply, when you throw salt water on a plant, it dries up, right, Howard? Mm -hmm. That's because the osmotic pressure is greater on the outside. So this is why I'm sorry that Dr. Archie even came on here, and I'm vexed with the medical community, and you should bring Dr. Uh, the lady online, uh, Ms. Yang, right? Because more preventative uh, medicine on the radio. And so even I don't know who all in our medical community are preventative doctor or practice preventative medicine, but Dr. Archer was because she was educating the people. Now, hence the term dog food coming out of my mouth over and over the radio, not to be insulting, but to just draw attention and to be so much humorous so people could wake up to see what they're putting into our bodies. Remember, Howard, I've been doing these things for decades. They, they are not going to tell you the things I'm about to say. No one knows what is in my head. You have external factors that cause cancer also, Howard. The, the, it's simple as you pressing the button to your car. Simple as them sending signals from outer space and you're able to pick up things. These electromagnetic chaotic effect in the atmosphere. You don't know what they're causing. You, uh, they had children break down with leukemia the other day in the States. They were living around some power grid. Mm -hmm. So what I'm saying is, in, this, in the 40s and 50s, the Army did studies. You hear me talk about electroporation from one of the on the radio. They did studies to show the epigenetic and DNA effect on electromagnetic frequency waves in humans. Mm -hmm. And they saw that it causes cell weakening and DNA methylation and, I mean, uh, uh, changes. So this has nothing to do with me. External factors, even an amalgam in your mouth, all right, Howard, leeches into your body. So you're real correct about this to being the best time to exercise because most of us have forgotten that sweat is one of the ways to get rid of toxins also, Howard. Mm -hmm. So even a non pundit like me, with decades of reading and education, you know, and, and, and some of the things that most people wouldn't understand, but this is the information era because you could go online and read it, but you, you have to have a basic understanding of chemistry, and you don't have to be a genius in chemistry because I was not an A student in chemistry in any which way. I just never stopped educating myself because I saw the dangers of the diet. I worked at hotel for almost 20 years, and, and Muff, you know, Muff, who and spoke with Mr. Yang, Yang, Muff know me good. I underweight for my height. But the fact that you uh, are overweight doesn't mean that you're, you're sick because I, I specifically explained the imbalance of salt to show you that slim people can end up with high blood pressure too. Mm -hmm. And some of the things that you mentioned, like the ginseng, which would be a nap, and some of those things like ginger, some of these natural products are natural vasodilators, which means they would, uh, increase, they would relax the blood vessels and allow uh, them to expand more and, and, and allow, uh, decrease blood pressure. And so remember now, it is salt imbalance, not salt itself that causes the high blood pressure, but the, the, the big culprit is sugar and salt. Now, the salt from Morton, is 97% or 99% sodium chloride. And that is, that is not hard to figure out because when you create the brine water and you let it in the inlet and the sun evaporates it, you just have sodium and chloride that precipitates. This is nothing brainy, Howard. Don't fight me. No, I ain't fighting you. You see what I'm saying? So I, 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 I don't you. speak. I don't come to hear myself, you know. But rather to show my mind is not in the shelf and to educate people because what I see we eating now and the lack of preventative medicine, we will be inundated with sickness. Your know, young children drinking soda, eating all kind of garbage. You know the rice has arsenic in any which event. But the most frightening part for me is the effects of sugar on the brains and the microbial cells that actually see like how you take the, 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 the coconut oil that actually helps to keep cognitive skills. Howard, yes. These studies. You remember me? The lady was on the other day, the doctor, and she agreed with me as far as the health effects of the sugar on the brain, breaching the blood-brain barrier yes. and causing microbial cells to die. But what happens is the sugar is the bad carbon because it, it, it causes the microbial cells in the brain to 
Too and you know something, 52? And eat healthy nerve cells. They found, the they found sugar as the base source in dementia. They yeah. found sugar at the base source of glaucoma. They found sugar as the base source because of cancer. Howard, you're so much correct, Howard. You're so, listen to me. You got, it actually attacks the, it, it attacks the nerves in the eyes, just like the brains. And hence, it, it, this is why you have this, this vision problem. And so, even when mice, this is being shown to cause cognitive decline. And so even, as, as you just caused me, remember, the reason why the mice maybe can't remember the corridor, remember certain skills that they learn, is because they may be having vision problems. They may be snared with the dog food they're feeding us. It must be stored with the pesticides. Thank God you're on our side. You have to learn how to wash up these foods. You know, they look so good in the store, way, way, way. But, you know, we, we can't blame ourselves for catching cancer, Harvard, because we're fighting a losing battle. Have you ever heard about transglutaminase or, in short, meat glue? You need to read about the meat inspection, and if a meat inspector goes to a factory, I mean to a, 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 a slaughterhouse, and you have 1,500 caucuses of cow or pig, etc., you think you get time to inspect all the pathogens? No. All right. So this is why we cook the meat. Thank God that he's cooking the meat. But actually, you talk about flour and bread. All, everything turns to sugar, Howard. Yes. But the, the first line of sugar would be carbohydrates, simple or complex, and then the body would go for fat, hence the ketogenic diet. So with the ketogenic diet, what the new study is showing, ketones produced actually a cytotoxic to cancer cells. A lot of things are cytotoxic to cancer cells naturally that they're not telling us because they don't want you to know that. We know that radiation is outdated. You need, Howard, please go for me. I don't want to waste time on the radio. Go and find out how they started to use radiation to treat cancer, all right, and carcinoma. And they're they, they ignoring natural uh, 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 remedies and, 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 and medicine like uh, angio, like, uh, like angi, uh, angio, uh, it's some uh, new technique. I think it's angio, uh, angio nucleate, nucleate. It's some protein like treatment that this doctor, Dr. Kaczynski, invented. And it's just, they, they denied him, denied him, denied him. People start to advocate for him. And there's a lot of other inter, uh, in, uh, interventions that they know naturally. That they, but basically, what I'm saying is, even with radiation, when they, even in the rats, rodents in the 50s, they knew that when they withdrew the radiation, radioactive treatment, the, can't, the tumors reappeared. They know that. So they know when they say, oh, but the cancer come back with a vengeance. That's because they have already killed all of the natural good cells around that area. And then you have the cells just going erotic as far as uh, tumor growth. And, you know, it's, 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 we, 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 we can't win this. We can't win what they're giving us. Okay? Yeah. Bless up. I appreciate your telephone call, man, 52. It's been excellent for us to be able to do that. Um, uh, I want to talk about that. You said that the animal connection... And also, you can be able to check out uh, Barbara O'Neill, Dr. Barbara O'Neill on tech on uh, Facebook, or I suppose she has websites and whatnot. But it's Dr. Barbara O'Neill, and these people are faith-based, right? Yeah, you may think that they're Mormon. You may think that they're living outside uh, civil society. You may think that they're simple people. She's from the mountains. Uh, I'm sorry, she's from the rainforest, and she told you how she wanted to be able to kind of heal herself and heal her children. And she found these particular things through the inspiration of God to be able to tell her these are the steps that you take, these are the things that you use. Let's find out more about these things and find out about how we live in, in these places, guys. Let me take this quick break, guys, last break, and then we're going to be right back after this. The Foundation. The Foundation. We'll be back right after this. The Foundation. Bonneville Bones, established in 1970, is the leader in men's fashion in the Bahamas. We're conveniently located in the Mall at Marathon and the Harbor Bay Shopping Plaza and fully stocked with everything you need for all occasions. Our Harbor Bay location is one door north of Alive with the black and white signage of Bonneville Boutique. Both locations are open from 10 to 7 p.m. Monday through Saturday. Bonneville Bones and Bonneville Boutique Still the leader in men's fashion. Located in the Mall at Marathon and the Harbor Bay Shopping Plaza. Summer may be ending, but the party is just getting started at Nassau Cruise Port. Don't miss our Summerfest All-Star Bahamian Concert on Saturday, August 17th at the Nassau Cruise Port Amphitheater. Enjoy electrifying performances by Abby, Sweet Emily, Elon Moxie, The Mighty Pencil, Chad Colley and the VIPs, Bloody It's open at 4 p.m. Show starts at 6 p.m. Grab your crew, bring your vibes, and let's end this summer in true, true Bahamian style. For fast, reliable, and impactful 
printing services, look no further. Let Print Masters bring your masterpiece to life. We stand by our quality products that is second to none. Our affordable pricing and friendly, efficient staff makes Print Masters the ultimate choice for all your printing needs. We can deliver any type of printing services, from banners to booklets to business cards. You name it, we can print it. Let Print Masters bring your masterpiece to life. Located in the Nassau Guardian Building, telephone 302-2361. This is Guardian Radio. Your station for up-to-the-minute news, intelligent, interactive, and engaging conversation. 96.9 FM. And in these last few minutes, guys, I want to thank you so much for being able to tune in with us. Like I said, if you want to be able to participate in what we're doing, and uh, kind of chime in, uh, not necessarily only with your voice, but also with your finances, and you want to be a part of what we're doing, please give me a call at 827-0111. Let's play some advertisement for you. Let me talk about your company. If you don't have anything set up, I can help you set that up. Or we can just talk about your company as opposed to being able to play a commercial. However you want to set it up, we can do that. Uh, but be pa- but participate. Uh, listen, it, you may think, oh, Jesus, it's going to be a lot of money. It is not. It's not, right? It's affordable, it's accessible, and uh, we have a significant audience here that uh, will hear your product and move towards it. You're going to get your whatever investment you make. If only that, you're going to break even with me, all right? So let's be able to make that thing happen and, and have a good conversation. Guys, um, well, I think I want to thank you guys so much. And I think uh, for me, this was good. This is good. I, I This was a, a very good conversation and maybe... You were kind of wrestling with uh, steps to take. Listen, man. For the amount of rum I see coming on this island, I never see them big uh, flatbed. For the amount of rum and rum I see coming on this island, uh, for an island of uh, only two hundred and some thousand people, my God, Jesus God, and maybe you ought to drink a lot of rum. I'm not gonna fight you. I'm not gonna get in your business. I'm not. You all got these people expanding businesses. They got. Listen to me. We ain't got enough. I don't even know where to go pay my phone bill if I in certain areas because they don't have no store. I got to go look for the store. But my God, if I wore rum, all I got to do is tumble outside my corner. Boom, rum. We got to stop, man. We got to stop, man. This, this, this can't be how we was designed to survive, designed to thrive. This can't be it. We got to fix this country. And fix our people and fix our mindset. I can't take away your pleasure from you. That's not my intent. But I'm only saying, have you assessed this? Have you assessed your indifference, your issue with your family, your distance, the fact that only when you touch a bottle, only when you move in a particular direction, only when you pursue your pleasure that you could find a smile on your face. There's something got to be wrong with this. Got to be wrong with this. Got to fix this. Let me see if I can read a couple of texts before we get out of here and be able to talk like this. Um, uh, somebody asked me, say, what about the story behind the prison officer? Which interview? 827-0111. I'll send you the interview. 827 uh, What about... Uh, Howard, please let me know how much, much, how much of the item should I use? This is for hydration... Uh, that you speak about, the coconut oil, the cayenne pepper, the key lime, and the natural sea sauce. Um, hit me up. That's uh, Jacob, right? I said uh, Jacob's regeneration on TikTok. Jacob's regeneration. He looks like what John the Baptist is a white guy. His hair is all these. He is uh, like a white John the Baptist. His hair is ruddy, right? And uh, he's a slimmer guy, but you can see that he's healthy. Check it out. Jacob's regeneration on uh, TikTok. You can be able to find out more information about that. Uh, let's see if anything else. He said, the Commonwealth of the Bahamas, let's read this, right? The Commonwealth of the Bahamas is not a commonwealth. A commonwealth is any government in which all people involved have a say or uh, a loose formation of nations with a shared loyalty. There is much loyalty in the country, but not a shared loyalty. The Bahamas is a country deeply divided. There are two main languages. 
two distinct cultures and two different flags. 242 is not a real country. There should be a unity of purpose. Many don't know their purpose, their family's purpose, their community's purpose, and most of all, their country's purpose. What is destroying the Bahamas are Bahamian leaders who are being educated by colonialists and neo-colonialists and have adapted the same mind blacks whilst being black. This is a lot that was on your mind. I'm not going to fight you. This is a great show as usual, Howard. Liquor stores and funeral homes are big business. So he says, way to go, Dr. Howard. No, I ain't no doctor. I just try and be decent today, right? Have a good conversation. Guys, I enjoyed that tomorrow, Small Business Thursday. Uh, let's see what we got coming through. I think I got maybe one or two people set up, right? I know Ian's going to be coming at one. Uh, but I do have a, a slot available if you guys are interested. I can give you a significant reduction. If you want to be able to come and sit with me for 15 minutes, please, let's do so. Um, 827-0111, 827-0111. I'm going to see y'all tomorrow, Godspear, right here on The Foundation. Have a great day, guys. See you tomorrow, Godspear. Foundation.